Wan Kaeja. It's such a lovely day. Why don't you come out to play? I have some friends for you to meet. Hello. Hello, everyone. Hi. <laughs> Hello. 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 Hello, everybody. We are having a giveaway. A giveaway is when we honor people with gifts. Here you go, Brady. A tin cup? Aw, ever cute. <laughs> I'm starting a tin collection, you know. I have a plate, and now I have a cup. Miigwech, <laughs> Kimamila. You're welcome, Brady. Here's a cup for you, Cubby. Cool. I can make a cup of soup and walk around with it and it won't spill. <laughs> Thanks. You're welcome. And here's a camp cup for you, Terry. Oh, thank you, Kimi Mila. I can take it when I go camping. <laughs> Good. I know how much you love camping. And now that you have your own camp cup, you can use it over and over and over again. Thank you, Kimi Mila. You're welcome. There you go, BB. Oh, thank you, Kimi Mila. Oh, good. I can take it on a picnic. Ooh. Good. I hope you have lots of fun on your picnic. Yeah. Now <laughs> that you have your own picnic cup. There you go, Flying Thunder. Kimi Mila, this is just what I need when I travel. Hmm. Thank you for this giveaway. Thank you, Kimi Mila. Thank you. Thank you, Kimi Mila. Thank you, Kimi Mila. You're hey, welcome. Hey, Kimi Mila. I love my cup. Kimi Mila? Yes, Brady? I know how to say travel in the Ojibwe language. We say, Bibaya. Can you say, Bibaya? Kimimila, guess what? What? I know what letter travel starts with. It starts with a T, hey? Mm hmm <laughs> Together. Together starts with a T. T and honey go together. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Trees start with the letter T. Tall trees are tree... Mendes. <laughs> <laughs> Tender. Tender is a nice T word. Love me tender. <laughs> time starts with a T too, hey? Brady, did you know time has tons of numbers in it? <laughs> yes, tons of time. <laughs> time of day, time to time, time to count. <gasps> Terry! Oh, all these T words are making me thoughtful. Thoughtful! Starts with the letter T. <laughs> what words do you know that start with the letter T? Flying Thunder, I made up a rap just for you. <laughs> it's about traveling. I know how much traveling you do. Why, thank you. How thoughtful. <laughs> <laughs> Lay it down, Master C. <gasps> Places you can visit, think it over for a minute. There's so many places you can visit, think it over for a minute. Travel and see the world so grand, people and nature of this land. Yo, <laughs> oh, travel rap! Who would have thought? I thought it was terrific. <laughs> <laughs> Did you like the beat, BB? They were sweet. Thanks, Cubby. <laughs> Kimi Mila, mm -hmm. what do you want to do today? Do you have any ideas? As a matter of fact, Grandma B is visiting us again today. Hi, Hi Grandma 
Hi, Grandma B. Hi, Grandma B. Hi, Grandma B. Hi. <laughs> oh, it's so nice to have you back. Oh, thank you. It's nice to see all of you again. Grandma B. <laughs> yes? What have you been up to? Well, I've been traveling a bit, and I'm trying to do some writing. Mm. And, of course, I'm always working in the school, trying to help little children. Mm. Wow. Um, uh, Grandma B. Yes? Um, have you traveled to other places in the world? Yes, I have. I've been to Australia, New Zealand, Africa, Europe, and in Europe, France, and Germany, and Italy, and to Lithuania, and to Russia. Because I heard that the Russian, some young Russian people were having a powwow. <laughs> a powwow? In <laughs> Russia. <laughs> I should go dance in Russia, hey? Yes, I think you could teach them a lot. <laughs> <laughs> do you know the reason they wanted to do a powwow? They heard so much about the native people of North America mm -hmm. and how they had such respect for the environment mm -hmm. and how they were generous and kind people and they took good care of their children. So they wanted to be like us. Mm -hmm. Isn't that wonderful? Mm -hmm. So I decided I'd go there to see how they were doing, and they learned about Indian people by reading about them and making outfits. And they all wanted to be like Lakota people, mm -hmm. and they'd never heard any of the our singing. So they made up their own songs and their own dances mm -hmm. <laughs> because they saw some of this in movies. Um, um. Um, um, Grandma B. Yes? How many suitcases do you take when you go traveling? <laughs> I only take two. Wow. One for my clothes and one for my books and papers. Because mm -hmm. I always travel with a book. So if I have some time uh, to wait, I'm never bored. I'm always reading a book. Oh, oh. Grandma B. Yes? What kind of books do you like to read? I like to read books about native peoples in the world. That's why I travel to Africa and Australia to meet some of the Aboriginal people mm -hmm. and also New Zealand to meet Maori people. Mm -hmm. oh, are they like are they like native people here? Very much so. They're what we call tribal people and they have their own language. That's different from English. They've all had to learn English as a second language, just as some of our people have done. Grandma B, you always have such interesting stories to tell. Thanks so much for visiting with us again today. Please come back soon. Thank you. I'll come back again. Goodbye. See Goodbye, you. Grandma, Goodbye B. Grandma B. Bye, See you again, Grandma, Grandma B. Now it's story time. Yay! Is everyone comfortable and ready to listen? I would like to read a story about flying thunder. This story is about flying thunder and we choppy. <gasps> flying thunder wanted to show we choppy the beauty of nature on Mother Earth. Flying thunder couldn't believe that there was so much we choppy hadn't seen on Mother Earth. So off they went. They flew over the Rocky Mountains. Chappy loved the snow-capped peaks and all the fresh water rivers running through the valleys. And Chappy was surprised when they arrived on the west coast. Look how tall the trees are, remarked we Chappy. Yes, some of these trees are very old. We call them old growth forests, said Flying Thunder. Very good, very good. I'm glad they are still standing. They must make everyone happy. Just think what the future generations will see when they look at these tree giants. We Chappy said happily. Hey, let's land to get a better look, said Flying Thunder. The two landed in the valley. Chappy was very impressed. I'm glad the human family isn't cutting down the old giants. Yes, indeed, my friend from the Star Nation. These old-timer trees are connected to all of us, and they are part of the human family, and we must honor them. Yes, indeed said Flying Thunder proudly. 
the end. <laughs> oh, that was a good one. Well, Chappie was happy to know the forests were okay. Mm-hmm. Like Dundee, you're so lucky to get to see the forest from the sky. We Chappie and I traveled far that day. Mm-hmm. Some of those old trees are a thousand years old. I would never cut an old tree down, hey? Brady, you're always thinking of others. The old trees would thank you. <laughs> are you saying that some of those trees are actually a thousand years old? That's a big number. I can count to 30. Would you like to hear me count? <laughs> <laughs> of course we would, Terry. Yay. <laughs> I guess that means it's counting time. What's today's special number, Terry? Seven. Seven is the special number for today. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven old growth trees in the forest. Oh, you are such a good counter. <laughs> Traveling expands your thinking. When you travel, you meet different people, learn new things, and experience another way to be. We have had a wonderful time today. Be good to yourself, Wankaija, sacred one. Remember, you deserve a happy and healthy life. I'll see you again soon. Bye. 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 See you next time. Yeah.